Hi, this video will showcase payslip distribution via email. In an earlier video for salary processing, we generated a final salary details file containing employee-wise salary details. We will use the file to generate a payslip for each employee and send them by email. We will work with this folder structure. It has an Excel file which has the employee-wise salary details. It has a mail merge template document file and it has a payslips folder to store the generated payslips. We are in Process Studio. I have created a project called Payslip Distribution. Let us create a workflow. Let us call it Payslip Distribution. Search for the Excel input step. Drag and drop or double click and place the step on the canvas. Click to edit the properties. Let us call it Read Salary Details. Choose a suitable driver. Browse for your salary file and add it to the list. On the Fields tab, get the fields and click OK. The next step is the Mail Merge step. Double click to add it to the canvas. Edit the properties. In the Mail Merge step, we need to browse the template file. Before we go further, let us go and have a look at the template file. Create a Word document for the payslip format. You can create placeholder fields enclosed in curly braces and prefixed with a dollar symbol. As you can see, we have created placeholders for values we wish to fetch dynamically for each employee. So all the values such as ID, role, department, allowance per hour, total hours worked and salary, as well as name in the header will be fetched from the employee details salary. We are back in Process Studio. Click the Get Fields to get the fields from the Payslip Mail Merge template. Select the corresponding field values from the stream for each placeholder. Against the role, we will select the role value from the stream, the department value from the stream, allowance per hour from the stream, the number of hours, and the salary. In this case, we will select the net salary and the name field. So we have mapped stream fields to replace in the document. In the destination directory, provide the directory path to store the generated payslips. In the destination file name, provide a file name for the payslips. We will select a dynamic file name by selecting the employee name as the file name. You could also provide a static name. If there is a duplicate file name, the mail merge step appends the next numeral to the file name. Click OK. Lastly, add the mail step. In the email step, in the destination address, select the email field so that the payslip generated from each record goes to the respective employee. However, I have put my email in all the employee records for this video so that I will get all the payslip emails of all the employees. Provide the email sender name, provide the sender address, provide the SMTP server, provide the port, use authentication, provide the authentication user, Click Accept as a variable or static to provide the authentication password. Else if you do not click this, then you can select the password from a previous field and we will use Secure Authentication. In the Email Message tab, select Desirable Properties. For the subject, I will put Payslip and in the comment, I will choose the name of the employee. In Attached File, we want to attach a dynamic file and the file name is coming from the Mail Merge step. Click OK. We will now execute the workflow. You can see the step metrics and it has already started sending some emails. It has written two emails now. The workflow is complete. Let us now go and check in my mailbox. The workflow has generated the payslips in the payslips folder. This is how the payslip looks like. You can see that the name and the other payslip parameters are replaced by the actual values in the Excel salary file. And in my mailbox, I have received all the 10 emails. We saw how to distribute personalized email messages with the payslip attachment to the respective employees in this video. Thank you.